A lot of people are scared to invest. They worry about losing all their money or making a bad investment decision. But the truth is, there are only a few mistakes when it comes to investing. And if you can avoid making these mistakes, there's really nothing to fear. Investing doesn't have to be nerve wracking. In fact, it's pretty simple, but more on that in another video. In this video, I'm gonna tell you the six investing mistakes to avoid so that you can build your wealth confidently. If you wanna learn more about how to save, invest, and make the most of your money, go ahead, hit the subscribe button and the bell and get a notification each time we post a new video. I'm Britt, I'm a money coach and a co-founder of Dow Janes. Through our program, The Million Dollar Year, we've helped thousands of women learn how to grow their money through investing. Now I'm gonna tell you the top investing mistakes and why you shouldn't make them. All right, the first mistake is to start investing while you have high interest rate debt. What is high interest rate debt? It's anything with an interest rate over 7%. So imagine your credit card debt, uh, possibly student loans, your car loans, anything with an interest rate over 7% is considered high interest. And this is a mistake. It's a mistake to invest while you still have this type of debt because high interest debt actually costs you more than you will make by investing your money. So if you invest while you still have debt, you actually won't make anything from your investments. Instead, all of your earnings and some will eventually be used to pay off your debt. So it kind of keeps you in this negative cycle. I'm gonna walk through the math of how this actually works. So say you have $10,000 in debt at a 25% interest rate, pretty common credit card interest rate. That's gonna cost you $7,415 in interest payments on top of your principal if you pay that off over 10 years. If you invested that same amount of money, you would only make $3,477 over that same period of time. So instead, you wanna use any money you have on hand, any cash you have that you're thinking about investing and apply it to your debt. Use it to pay off your high interest rate debt first and then you can start investing. This may mean sacrificing a bit in the short term, so going to a bare bones budget and using every all the cash you have available to pay off your high interest rate debt. But the sooner you do that, the sooner you can start investing and the longer your money has to grow. All right, the second mistake is to invest in something that you don't understand. There's a story I once heard about a football player who made millions of dollars and kept it in a savings account. He ended up meeting with a financial advisor who was advising him on what to do with the money. And the advisor said, at least you didn't invest it in something you didn't understand. That's how people lose money. So this football player, he understood savings account. He's better off keeping it in a savings account than investing it in something that he could have, where he could have lost all of it. So whether it's a business idea that your friend is starting, cryptocurrency or subprime mortgages, unless you understand how it works, don't invest in it. And if you want to invest in something, learn how it works and then invest in it. All right, the third mistake is to invest in single stocks. This is what most people tend to think about when they think about investing. They think it means picking stocks, finding that next company that's gonna go big. But picking stocks is risky because the value of one company can go up or down dramatically based on the latest quarterly earnings report. Picking a stock is like putting all your eggs in one basket. It's you know gambling on that one company that you think is gonna do well. Instead, what you can do is invest in things like index funds or ETFs, where you can spread your investments out over hundreds of different companies and really diversify your investment. The risk that all of those companies go down in value is much lower than the risk that that one company goes down in value. Of course, I get it. It's fun to invest in a company that you really believe in, like Zoom at the start of the pandemic or Tesla if you're bullish about electric cars. But if you're going to do this, please don't invest more than you're willing to lose. We like to equate single stock investing to gambling. So only bet what you're willing to lose. All right. Next mistake is pulling your money out when the market goes down. This is why it's so important to have an emergency fund before you start investing. You don't wanna to have to pull your money out if the market goes down in value. And this is really common. This is how most people lose their money in the market. When stock prices plummet, people get scared, they don't wanna lose more, and so they pull their money out. But the wisest thing to do in that moment is to actually stay invested. 
Some people even put more money in in that moment. Historically, the market has always recovered. It has recovered and continued to rise beyond where it was before. So the best thing you can do is stay invested over a long period of time. Our favorite investor, Warren Buffett, says, it's not about timing the market, it's about time in the market. So you wanna stay invested for as long as you possibly can to make the best returns. So when you're investing, you want to plan to leave your money invested. If you need to use it for something in the next five years, you might not want to invest it. You wanna think about investing as money that you're putting into an investment for five plus years, and the longer, the better. And that's why it's really important to have an emergency fund. So if you need cash for something that happens, you can pull from it if you need to without divesting your investments. All right, next mistake is not paying attention to fees. Fees might seem small, but when you lose your money to fees over the years, it means less of your money is compounding over time. So it actually costs you a lot in the long run. Fees can come in many forms. There is a fee that a financial advisor might charge you, there's the monthly cost of an investing app, and then there's the expense ratio charged on a fund that you invest in. These are all different types of fees, and they range anywhere from a dollar per month to 1% of your assets. When you're looking at fees, you wanna be able to compare them across the different things that you're using. So put everything in terms of a percentage. I'll give you an example. Say you have an app that charges you a dollar per month to use it, and you have $1,000 invested. That means that you're paying $12 per year to invest $1,000. It ends up being a 1.2% fee. And in general, you wanna avoid paying more than 0.3% in fees across all any of your investments. So do the math and look for alternative ways to invest that won't charge you more than 0.3%. All right. Final mistake is waiting to start investing. We save the best for last, and this is the most important mistake that people make. There are plenty of reasons why people wait to invest. They're scared of losing their money, they don't know how to invest, they're worried the market is at an all-time high. These are all super common reasons, and it leads to the unfortunate fact that women tend to invest later and less often than men. But the bottom line is that your investments need time to grow. Time is the most important factor in the compound growth formula. And the more time you're invested, the more your money will grow. So pay off that high interest rate debt, build up your emergency fund, and then start investing as soon as you possibly can. If you're ready to start investing and you just don't know where to start, I recommend checking out our masterclass. You can find the link below. To recap, investing doesn't need to be scary. Just make sure you don't do the following things. One, invest with high interest rate debt. Two, invest in something you don't understand. Three, invest in single stocks. Four, pull your money out when the market goes down. Five, ignore fees. And six, wait too long to start investing. If you wanna learn more about how to make smart investment decisions, be sure to check out our free webinar, Think Like an Investor. I'll leave a link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you'll get all of our notifications for future videos. See you next time.